ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Adho Shadhyata Taho Shadhu Sangha Atho Bhajana Kriya Tato Anartha Nibriti Shattato Nishtharuchi Stataha Atha Shakti Stato Vavaha Stato Prema Budanchati Sadokana Mayam Premanaha Paduru Bhavi Bhavitramaha Adho Shadhya Tataha Shadhu Sangha Atho Bhajana Kriya Tato Anartha Nibriti Shattato Nishtharuchi Stataha Atha Shakti Stato Bhavaha Stato Prema Budanchati Sadhukana Mayam Premanaha Padur Bhavi Bhavetkamaha Gauriya Goshti Bhati Gauriya Goshti Bhati Shishila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that in this material world all those normal gurus that all those market gurus so called gurus they that they cannot save us from death at all that our uh, they cannot give us the transcendental life in us at all that's why they all kind so called gurus in the market that their partial gurutva that partial gurutva it is not at all getting siddh in their life that in uh, whole if you can see in toto they don't have any gurutva inside them at all but those who can those who can save us from this uh, so called death dharma and who can give us the transcendental life in us who can give us that transcendental identity and give us that total realization of that transcendental world that realization he can give us in toto that actually guru is the topmost nitya guru that onto the lotus feet of that guru i am taking shelter in toto Shankar Bhagwan Shankar Bhagwan uh, to Shankar Bhagwan Parvati may asking to Shankar Bhagwan about Guru Tattva that Shankar Bhagwan giving answer that there are a lot of so called gurus so, so much market gurus are there available Maybe you can get any kind of shishya, disciple or not. But guru, a lot of gurus are there. So-called gurus, market gurus are there. You can see in the market. That uh, disciple, he needs money. He just needs money, position, name, fame. That's it. He's all the time taking that. That kind of guru is so-called guru is so much in this whole material world. You can find that. That in the disciple birth after birth, that kind of uh, durvasana and all kind of bad sanskar, what is there with the disciple, all everything is getting destroyed completely by that automatically that guru, actual guru is actually taking that on him and just to uh, give mukti to that disciple, that is very much rare to get. This is not at all possible to get at all. That disciple, that santap, that infinity period, that fire, ignition of karma, bad sanskar is going on. So in order to just uh, completely destroy that in this material world, that guru is very very rare. We can't find that transcendental guru in our life who can destroy all these kind of bad sanskar from the life of a disciple. Srila Parikshit Maharaj Ji to him. Sukhdev Goswami Pad, he has just uh, told about Srimad Bhagavatam. He is uh, giving the Bhagavat Updesh to Sri Parikshit Maharaj. Why? Because Parikshit Maharaj's question whether Parikshit Maharaj 
he is not a normal ordinary person at all he is mahabhagwat there in 3 3 to 4 places it is written esho mahabhagwat about shri barikshit maharaj he is mahabhagwat but still he is actually showing us this kind of pathways like arjun a bonded he is showing is as if he is in a bonded condition but it's not like that if arjun is not at all placed in such a situation so that gita pravachan is not at all possible to get out so in the same way parikshit maharaj also giving this question to sukhdev ko swami sukhdev ko swami onto his lotus feet that for those who are actually going to die just tell us this kind of sadhana so that he can get out of this bondage of material birth and death that those who is on the verge of death what is the actual sadhana or procedure to get out of this so called material bondage of birth and death material karma what is the actual so then shukdishila sukhdev goswami pad speaking in this context Oh Rajan, if that kind of fear of death is there inside you, that kind of fear, if it is there, that uh, unknowingly, which kind of uh, unknown fear is there inside you that you will gonna die, that is actually just following you from backside. that in his that who already sees this whole sansar in his life who already have seen this sansar nothing is there in this sansar at all shila bhakti mo thakur in kirtan speaking that in the desert in order to get water in the desert then definitely you're going to die more if you will find if you will try to find water in the desert oh water is there it looks like there is water but there is no water at all in the desert at all in the desert if you will just go in the desert for water then you're just going to die that's it then definitely you're going to die if you will find water in the desert shila sukhdev ko swami pad actually giving one answer regarding in context to parikshit maharaj those who already with ni- become nirvrit from this material world totally who who wants to become nirvik in this who without any kind of fear all kind of uh, tensions and fear everything he wants to get out of that but how to get out of that that's the main question that just by doing the hari naam of bhagwan that it is the actual which are of all the sadhus just do the naam hari naam of bhagwan that in this those who got actual bhakti true bhakti inside him that the bhakti is the top most treasure in him that apart from bhakti there is no treasure at all that is a top most treasure you can get but uh, nobody wants to understand this at all nobody for this to understand bhagwan that uh, by doing the anugraha of bhagwan in this material world that uh, just to get the all the jeevas to get out of the material bondage that in the form of sadhu and sadguru bhagwan is coming in front of us and in the form of shastras bhagwan is coming in front of us and in the form of dhama bhagwan is coming in front of us in the form of naam all the things you can see bhagwan is coming in that form in in front of the bonded jeevas and in bhagavad gita mahapurana also it is written that bhagwan you that bhagwan don't need to why he should come but still he is coming to protect us to protect the bonded jeevas in, in order to give anugraha that he is coming in the form of human form in front of us just uh, so kind of different different leelas bhagwan is doing the topmost uh, pr- madhur ras leela that just by hearing those topmost leelas full of rasa 
that jivas materially bonded jivas can become totally excited by hearing that and surprised by hearing that this is the actual condition being uh, given by bhagwan to all in front of all the bonded jivas that actually this actually is the answer given to parvati what given by shiv ji maharaj so whatever be the case bhagwan that uh, just to do association of devotees of bhagwan and by the association of devotees just to hear hari katha to take mahaprasadam to do dham parikram to do hari naam all the time under the guidance of your guru vaishnav but alone no, nothing can be possible at all if someone speaking that i will do alone okay what to what we need don't need any association it's not like that it's not that easy this in sadhu sang you just need to do krishna naam that is the actual conclusion of all the shastras that brahma ji also speaking this thing sthane sitha sthane sitha suti gatam tanuvam manohir e jo bola this actually being told that is the actual sakasme is just in front of sadhu he just need to do association under his guidance and kapil ji maharaj also speaking this uh, actually being spoken by kapil ji maharaj as well to his mother devahuti bhagwan to whom those pure guru vaishnav in this material world he is uh, putting in order to just uh, get all the bonded jivas uh, uh, to destroy their bondage completely in order to get their association apart from that no other pathway is there to just go by your own uh, will nothing will be done at all to just by doing the seva on your by your own will nothing will be done at all but in this present uh, situation i have told you in the bengali katha if someone speaking that what is the topmost problem of this material world what is the topmost problem the topmost problem of this material world is that in the name of sadhu sang they are doing a satsang that in this material world is getting totally destroyed that's it this apart from that no problem is there that in the name of sadhu sang they are doing a satsang that's it that is the topmost problem that bhagwan who actually sending selected uh, transcendental personalities he is actually uh, sending all on to this material planet all those selected eternal vashad of his on to this material planet under their anugatya we need to serve pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan and uh, apart from their association by our own will what we are doing seva that we cannot do seva at all like that those who are just going for dharma arth kaam and moksha these four purusharth they are actually all the time busy in just uh, getting all this uh, normal things of dharma arth kaam moksha four purusharths they are actually busy in getting that those who are actually busy in dharma arth kaam moksha all they are busy in these ordinary things that they are not at all bhagwat sevak at all they are not at all bhagwat sevak not at all they are bhagwat sevak they do they are just doing one drama of seva that's it they are uh, just doing uh, their own sense gratification they are just for their own sense pleasure they are actually doing that gratification just for the sense gratification they are doing everything that what devahuti mahamaya actually is doing speaking in front of kapil maharaj that i i am actually giving whatever they are asking my sense organs and my heart and mind i have given them provided them but still they are not at all doing any kind of mercy on me at all still no they are asking more and more and now the present situation is that now definitely we going to go into hell whatever i have given it is given by that uh, whatever mind sense organs what is given by them i have actually taken but no mercy is given take is given uh, on me at all by all the sense organ and what is my present situation definitely i am now into the ocean of hell that's it i have got into hell hellish condition 
सो दैट आई कैन डू सर भगवान हाउ कैन आई गेट हाउ कैन आई सर भगवान दैट इज़ द मेन क्वेश्चन द नॉर्मल बॉन्डेड जीवाज दे अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर ओन विल एंड ओन थिंकिंग इंडिपेंडेंट थिंकिंग जस्ट बाई देयर ओन इंडिपेंडेंट विल एंड एफर्ट दे एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग इन विच दैट सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ कृष्णा इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर your own will and effort nothing can be done in krishna seva at all nothing can be done in that we have satya griha vrat to lekar that by taking the griha vrat those who are busy in that griha vrat for them by their own efforts and will that and other efforts and will nothing can be done by that at all or those who are busy in griha medha nothing can be done in that at all why because they are just following the rules and regulations of this general dharma they are actually just busy in this general business mood that's it that all materially materialistic dharma they are busy in that they actually all the time busy in material dharma and material wish and they thinking that nothing is there apart from that are you should do this whole day just like a crow like crow is doing ka 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 that's it whole day day and night they are actually they are actually getting uh, entangled in this material world that's it nothing is there apart from that their life is just going towards hellish condition destruction that's it nothing is there in their life at all apart from material things they are always busy in profit and loss that's it and in the shastra the activity is being written that those heart those who, who's their mind and heart actually just entangled in material world that to just think of bhagwan is just one kind of laughing stroke it is just one kind of joking one kind of laughing stroke that's why that in the shastras all the time actually it is written and it's the instructions is given that to do the association of a satsang of a, a non devotee you just need to leave that now what is the actual role of a sadhu the actual role of sadhu is that to just uh, 24 24 7 just need to that what is actual role of sadhu that to get in touch in absolute truth 24 7 all the time to get in touch with that absolute truth that's it that our kapil ji maharaj our mother devahuti ji what she is speaking that i am just becoming fed up by all this material material matter matter all the four direction there is matter that's it that asat sense organs material sense organ that trishna that desire so much desire is there you give me this you give me that just drinking eating sleeping enjoyment different different enjoyment all different different enjoyment the sense organs are asking and this whole material world why maya devi is just opening one new new market and we are just uh, attracted towards that nitram means that absolutely i am fed up with all this that asat sense organs that trishna that desire what they are asking i actually i am giving that but they are actually not at all giving any mercy on us at all this sensual enjoyments at all they are not at all giving us mercy and our sense organs just by associating with them slowly steadily what is happening 
that now I am actually getting into darkness in Tamo, on the Tamo, darkness. Oh Prabhu, you just need to save me, that's it. The actual role of a sadhu is all the time to stay in touch with that absolute truth, topmost absolute truth, to, to stay in touch with that all the time to do seva of that absolute truth. 24/7, and in order to just, uh, uh, in order to just protect someone, that all those folks, all those actual sadhu in their hand, they are actually, they are actually taking one very heavy, very heavy, uh, very heavy weapon they are actually taking in their hand. So that when all those bonded jivas can come, they just gonna cut it away with that heavy weapon. They will just destroy that with that heavy weapon, everything of that material bondage of a material person. The actual role of the sadhu is just he is just taking one heavy weapon in in his hand very nice sharp weapon so that they can just uh, totally destroy the uh, sensual desires material desires of a bonded person and can help him to get, cut that and save him from this material bondage if some this kind of association someone is doing and he can gonna get prove this point that he just gonna prove this point also by associating with sadhu that that sadhus have thus done this to me and no result is there all are actually kapat sadhu that's it no no result they have got how it is possible you tell me they are actually kapat sadhu so this kind of actual sadhu if you will do the association of that actual sadhu then definitely inside your heart that seva pra- pravritti will definitely come guaranteed it is seva mood will increase day by day sadhu is that who has that topmost seva mood inside his heart that you just need to understand that he is sadhu that just by touching in getting association with him that just by hearing the actual pravachan by that shastra vakya that whatever kind of unearth is there inside us that kind of cutting will be done by the sadhu only that who can just cut all our unearth all kind of duravasana unearth etc all will be getting cut and destroyed by a sadhu though that no asakti manadharma everything will get destroyed how you can do association Arya Maharaj we have done satsang we have just gone there and now we have come how you have done satsang you see no satsang you have done at all that in satsang if it is being done then now in this material vishya that kind of all drama going on inside your heart that it will just kind of destroy completely it will not go but it is not at all going it means satsang is not at all done yet that how you can get association of sadhu just by your ears oral reception that you just need to hear the vani swarup of kirtan and hariketha kirtan of that sadhus and by hearing that all kind of heaviness of the anarth in order to just get it lighter just by cutting that and completely getting rid of all those anarths by hearing harikatha and kirtan from that actual sadhu anyhow associ- bad association come in, in in your life i have already just discussed today in the english harikatha that that anya vilas that asat sang anyhow in any condition it can come in your life any how it can come in your life in any condition in any form it can come asat sang that asat sang definitely will go you cannot uh, go away from asat sang only and only you can get out uh, for those who don't who all the time want sadhu sang that they are actually just praying to bhagwan that you just give me sadhu sang that's it i don't need anything what vritrasur at the time of death he is actually asking this only that uh, you just give me the sadhu sang and apart from that nothing i want at all that uh, just to get the sad actual uh, pure guru vaishnava association i need that apart from that i don't need anything at all 
दैट्स इट अन्य अभिलाष हाउ इट कैन कम इन योर हार्ट यू कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड एट ऑल एनी फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन ही जस्ट को ना गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड विल गो अवे फ्रॉम एक्चुअल भजन दे विल जस्ट फॉल डाउन देयर कॉन्शियसनेस विल फॉल डाउन देर इज नो पैथ वे ओपन एट ऑल अपार्ट फ्रॉम गेटिंग द एसोसिएशन ऑफ एन एक्चुअल साधु दैट्स इट दैट वी आर शीला रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी बाद विरचित दिस मन शिक्षा दैट लास्ट दिस श्लोक का लास्ट डिस्कशन वी आर डूइंग टूडे so up till here we have discussed up till this point we have came shila ragunath das goswami pad shila ragunath das goswami pad about raganu ka bhajan it means that how to do ragatmika and raganu ka bhajan how we have to come into this that on to the pathway of raganu ka bhajan how on to that pathway we just need to without any kind of uh, nirbhay bhav should not come that kind of pathway how we can follow for that shri man shiksha that all kind of wish is actually getting manifested in front of you all adar shraddha is actually first and after shraddha means that shraddha by doing krishna bhakti everything will be done in that that the absolute wish you will get by doing krishna bhajan by doing that that actual shraddha actually it is called ado shraddha in this that just pure guru vishnu that just to have full confidence on to them what they are speaking and after then tato sadhu sang the sadhu sang is also of two types one is just to take the lotus feet before taking the preliminary sadhu sang and after that after taking disha from gurudev that kind of sadhu sang it means that just getting the sadhu sang that bhajana kriya is actually getting started is so inside this that every, everything actually everything is included in sadhu sang just to take guru charan ashray just by taking guru charan ashray that sadhu sang and after that is bhajan kriya is possible and it means that after taking diksha under the anugatya of guru 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 anugatya that bhajan kriya is done and when bhajan kriya is done when you are actually going to apart from the stage of anarth nivritti then only nishtha will come and now from bhajan kriya that sadhak has just jumped up to sadhan bhakti now it is sadhan bhakti starting now after bhajan kriya now that anarth nivritti when it's gone that with full nishtha he is doing sadhana bhakti he is getting into sadhan bhakti that sadhan sadhan bhajan is actually getting started in the life of a sadhak that after that nishtha and after that ruchi that after ruchi slowly slowly when you are going get that, that becomes asakti and after asakti that bhava is there that bhava bhakti and after that prem bhakti that prem bhakti like i have already told you sadhan bhakti bhav bhakti and prem bhakti all the three that in the life of a sadhak that kind of prema that kind of gradual promotion procedure is there in order to attain prema that this is the usual procedure which we need to follow 
in the actual spontaneous love for Krishna in order to just get the spontaneous love for Prema towards Krishna that gradual usual gradual procedure that can be order reverse order can be reverse also lot of procedure you just need to follow while having that spontaneous love for Bhagwan that you see gradually that pr- procedure you can see that common procedure sadhu sang is of two turn preliminary sadhu sang and after guru charanashray that sadhu sang that kind of sadhu sang and after that just by doing bhajan slowly steadily bhajan kriya and after bhajan kriya anarth nivritti will be done and then kind of one kind of nishta will come and after nishti that ruchi and then after rasakti and then after that bhav and then after that prem so this all kind of series of uh, procedure i have told you up till this that what is raganuga bhakti how you can do raganuga bhakti all these things i have already discussed previously in the previous hari katha and now we can just try to go ahead what shila raganuga is going to be speaking now and now if someone can ask me that how sadhan bhakti looks like if someone asking that what is the symptom of sadhan bhakti maharaj tell me the symptoms of sadhan bhakti that sadhan bhakti how it is if some person is asking me this is not one kind of manufacturing wish that we can just manufacture it on our own not like that that whatever kind of material sense organs that material sense organ bhakti can be done by that no not at all okay bhajan kriya can be done but when you can get the bhakti uh, kripa of bhakti devi that one kind of uh, avesh is actually there on your mind heart sense organs very different kind of uh, unique aura positive aura is coming inside your sense organs and by then by that gradual procedure of your sense organs slowly steadily by doing seva under the guidance of pure guru vishnu that it will become sadhana bhakti and that kriti sadhya sadhan that kriti sadhya sadhan by that it is actually getting attained kriti sadhya is attained by sadhan and very one important speciality is there in that that by sadhan that bhav rupa bhakti is actually getting a siddh in your life that shraddha bhav by that sadhan that bhav rupa bhakti is getting siddhi it is getting siddhi in your life those by all the kind of different sadhan that bhakti pushti mark that bhakti is getting mature day by day by that sadhan by that kind of sadhan that uh, bhakti is getting mature day by day that by that sadhan that all kind of limbs of bhakti in order to attain that swarup of that limbs of bhakti you just need to Uh, accept that it means that you will accept that kind of limbs of bhakti but uh, this kind of 64 limbs of sadhana bhakti are there and i will not go up till those limbs that shila bhakti no thakur he is speaking about sadhan bhakti that why because is shadya bhave shlok that that in amrit prabha bhashya shri chaitanya charitamrit one bhashya that amrit prabha bhashya in that that this that kind of uh, description in amrit prabhavasya shila sachidanand bhakti mr thakur actually writing that sadya bhav bhakti you just be careful what i am speaking that bhakti mr thakur apart from him nobody is there who can just so much clearly he can speak no father in the world can speak so clearly apart from bhakti mr thakur as if bhakti mr thakur is actually just speaking about the vaikuntha dham golok dham directly with full realization he is actually putting in front of us who is attracting us all the time his vani swarup shila bhakti mr thakur speaking shraddha bhav bhakti shraddha bhav bhakti when 
when my sense organ it is actually getting uh, activated if you can see that then actually it is called sadhan bhakti that i have already told you previously it is quite impossible that our material sense organs and material mind to do bhakti sadhan is not at all possible but that bhajana kriya slowly steadily when it some day by the kripa of guru vishnu that bhakti devi we are getting kripa then in that one kind of transcendental uh, avesh or aura positive aura is getting inside our heart the transcendental aura we are getting avesh we are getting and at that at that time that externally by our material sense organs that uh, to do the seva of bhagwan different different kind of uh, arrangements we are doing that by material sense organs are not at all involved in that that's why bhakti mata thakur speaking sat bhav bhakti sat bhav bhakti that sat bhav bhakti if you can see it that by material sense organ organ it is getting uh, uh, siddh by all this material sense organ that it is called sat bhakti when you can see that by doing the sadhan with one particular sense organ it is Im- we can get that sat vastu but definitely it is actually hidden in from infinity time in the swarup of the jiva that's why it is called sadhan bhakti what is actually written sadhya bhav bhakti sadhya bhav bhakti when by our material sense organs it is actually getting sadhya that is actually called sad sadhya bhakti and that same bhakti of the jivas that nitya siddha bhav of the jivas inside the heart actually is there in the hidden form and it will just manifest that hidden form into activated form and definitely it will just get activated and when it is just getting activated that is actually called sadhana bhakti that procedure actually is called sadhana bhakti whether you can see this is not at all on the stage of sadhana was sadhana stage at all the actual purport is that shila bhakti mata thakur speaking the actual purport is that the actual purport is that that all the jivas that all the jivas who are having very small infinity infinitesimal particle that kind of enjoyment what krishna is having that kind of anand particle is there actually inside the jivas because jeev is anandmay and bhagwan is sachidanand and jeev is also sachidanand but is in very infinitesimally small part is actually there that chitkan jiva they are actually having are the anand kan but in infinitesimal form just getting into this material bondage that kind of uh, swarup is actually getting in the hidden form because of the track of maya that same nitya siddh bhav that uh, in order to just activate that just try to make that activated that is actually called the actual manifestation of the sadhana bhakti that is sadhana sadhana bhakti and in this situation that nitya siddha vastu in this situation only that actual sadhya of the nitya siddha vastu is will get activated in front of you automatically and that kind of uh, eligible condition you will get and that kind of uh, siddha vastu that what you are actually speaking sadhya that kind of stage is there that is actually being told here that's why in this condition only that in the nitya siddha vastu that kind of sadhya stage we can see that that siddh sadhya bhav swarup bhakti in the form, in the bonded jivas that is actually getting sadhit by bonded material sense organ that is actually called sad- sadhan bhakti that sadhan bhakti from starting from guru padashray that from bhajan kriya all procedure gradual procedure what is there sad dharma shiksha instructions varvam varma guman that that for krishna just to stay in krishna teerth and for krishna just to leave all kind of material sense enjoyments it means a kadashi etc fasting you are doing for satisfaction of krishna and just to respect the brahmans and to do seva of brahmans and vaishnav understand the point this kind of 10 limbs are the topmost starting point of the bhajan it means 
seva aparad naam aparad etc are actually added if you will eliminate that addition then you can just go ahead in your bhajan and just to just uh, not to take note of uh, not to read lot of uh, books don't read that i, I will be just uh, taking harmonium i will be just taking uh, uh, thinking how to blue flute is all anya bilash i will be just doing this that i'll be just reading lot of books so this is all anya bilash don't take note of disciples don't make lot of disciples some actually are actually learning or orchestra and just they are just uh, cheating people in the background they are making that by speaking bhagavatam so this is the condition what to do lot of books that anchik partial uh, efforts are not at all good to read lot of uh, books that kind of partial practice you just need to deactivate and profit and loss of this material world you just need to kick it away and whatever loss or profit you are getting in this material enjoyment that all kind of uh, good and bad things in your life what is happening you don't need to come into that and uh, don't need to speak bad about the the shastras or all the of the demigods and just not to hear about vishnu krishna not to think not to hear bad about them gramma katha don't need to hear that by body speech and mind you just need to um, serve bhagwan that's it whatever be the case this uh, that what is actually anukul to bhajan and what is actually pratikul to bhajan it means that how we can eliminate that how we can remove that that pratikul bhav and that 20 types of things are 10 or 10 limbs i have already told you this 20 kinds of uh, limbs of bhakti that is actually in the bhagavad bhajan temple that is the actual entry pass that to just get entry into bhagavad bhajan that is the actual pass to get into that that bhagavad temple the temple of bhagavad temple that bhagavad bhajan temple in order to enter that that is the actual gateway this 20 limbs that are nikul and pratikul all everything i have already told you and shravan kirtan smaran dhyan poojan vandan pad sevan all actually atma nivedan all actually are actually whole what i have told you there are total 60 limbs of bhakti total 60 limbs of bhakti are there which you need to follow that our that in hari bhakti vilas it's already written there and out of that shri mahaprabhu shri sadhu sang naam sankirtan bhagavat sevan mathura vas and bhai shraddha shri murti sevan vigra seva that all five special limbs of bhakti is actually indicating by mahaprabhu giving full importance to that because mahaprabhu himself speaking and speaking this point to us that that uh, all these five limbs of bhakti even slightest association we can get then only prema we can just uh, get out of that that's it that in that only that uh, prema will come there is no difference in that only prema will come out of that alpa means not even slightest association if you are doing out of the any five limbs of bhakti so whatever be the case that is actually called sadhan bhakti what is bhav bhakti bhav bhakti what you what do you mean by bhagavat bhav bhakti what is the actual meaning the actual actual answer of this question what is bhav bhakti when that just be careful on this point i am speaking the answer that when prem roop san inside your heart is getting manifested inside your heart that is in the morning time that uh, what time you are actually uh, maybe 8 to 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock if 3 to 3 30 am your sleep is actually breaking then only you can do actual bhajan in that you can already see that uh, in that the morning time that before sunrise there is one kind of uh, arun varun very red colorish 
a sunshine is coming out of sun and slowly steadily you can see when the sun is rising as the time passing by that the sun uh, so sun god you can see it completely in the same way in the same manner when prem roop swarup sun that prem roop sun when it is getting manifested inside your heart that uh, by the actual uh, suryansh of that uh, sun it is just getting uh, that is called bhav bhakti when it is getting uh, totally uh, manifested inside our heart like uh, before the sun actually for sunrise it is becoming red comes in red in color so like that prem surya that all the four direction there is golden gold uh, golden color that infinite color golden color in all the four direction it is getting spread it like the sun shine is actually getting spread it in all the four directions so this kind of crimson red color before sunrise what the sun is making the similar way that uh, golden color is getting of swarup that actual prem roop uh, prem roop sun inside our heart is getting manifested in the same way and that by that ansh that it is just melting our heart then it is called bhav bhakti bhav bhakti bhav bhakti it is of nine types what i have already told in the starting bhav bhakti is of nine types that i have already told in the starting that i have already told you that by this that actual procedure that gradual proportional procedure of bhajan is actually being uh, adjudged and this is actually being manifested in front of us but this bhav bhakti that symptom of bhav bhakti that bhav bhakti symptom that the symptom of bhav bhakti is of nine types what is that this uh, this bhav bhakti actually it is getting manifested or not but it's one kind of drama is going on no drama should go on at all so there is no uh, proof of that this nine limbs of nine uh, symptoms of bhav bhakti that who you can see it in toto in applied form definitely it is the he is actually going into the pathway of bhav bhakti khanti means that he that uh, he is out he is not at all getting angry at all but still he has just uh, adjust that angry mood what someone has done on it that is khanti khanti means that uh, patience he is having that if someone is getting angry he has patience to digest that and that without wasting in fraction of second that is uh, all the time they are busy in bhajan avyapta kalaptam that is the meaning of that that even one muhurat even fraction of second they don't want to uh, miss that in their life without bhajan that <coughs> that our fraction of second should not go in vain at all virakti means virakti what does it mean that uh, what is actually anukul to krishna seva that uh, wish that kind of seva for krishna in regards to krishna seva that if you are not at all liking it then it is totally wrong at 100% some kind of uh, wrongness will be there that virakti should be there for krishna seva where krishna is not at all happy is unhappy then that virakti is not at all possible manushunyata means just to respect just uh, no kind of respect you want to take from anyone 
you are giving respect to others but for uh, for yourself you don't have any kind of desire to take respect from others asha bandhu means that bhagwan may be today or tomorrow definitely he will do kripa on us that kind of uh, confidence he is having that one uh, i can give you one example regarding this when mahaprabhu that is expressing ashta prahar bhav that bhagavad bhav in navadvip dham in shri vasangar at that time all the devotees that mahaprabhu giving prem oh you just take prema take a prema that in this condition only he is giving prema that i have told a lot of times this uh, thing to you about this patra patro vicharan no purute no so param vicharan deha deva vimarsha kano hino vakala pratiksha satya savanikshana paramano dhyana dina durlabham dakte bhakti rasam ye to ashchaj that is very much astonishing and surprising to think that apart from gaur there is no one there is no one apart from gaur apart from gaurang any other avatar no avatar gaurang is actually avatari that is not at all avatar that is that is very much surprising to no avatar avatar is like that mirakti also told just to not he is giving respect to others not taking respect at all that krishna is actually doing mercy on me like when mahaprabhu doing ashta prahar leela uh, manifested ashta prahar leela that bhagavad bhav he is expressing then everything someone is actually distributing prema to others and he is not at all giving a prem to mukund one leela is a devotee speaking that but krishna you just ask mukund to come you do kripa on mukund no i will not do to kripa on mukund at all why what is the reason that where actually he is going he is like chalo oh, maharaj oh very nicely you have told like punjabi people speaking no maharaj you speak on so nicely and after that then bharti maharaj some mayavadi actually speaking oh maharaj what you have spoken very nicely and in front of me also when i used to speak harikatha they used to do like this after that they are speaking oh maharaj you what you have told very nice and now what the people are actually speaking that very nicely they were spoken all those people are drawn drained into maya that's it what to speak you haven't heard what i'm speaking that's why <clears throat> up till what point you need to go your consciousness but you haven't heard anything from me is one kind of drama that's it asha bandhu that means that uh, bhagwan mukund bhagwan not at all giving kripa to mukund and devotee speaking you also should give prema to mukund so much seva he is doing for you has so much seva okay uh, if, after 1 crore life you will get if, after 1 million of life you will uh, just i'll give you kripa then uh, someone giving news to mukund that yes to you after 1 crores of life you will get the kripa of mahaprabhu and mukund just started uh, uh, taking uh, dancing started dancing and he speaking why is actually dancing mahaprabhu asking that you speaking no that he after 1 crore uh, birth he will get the i'll do kripa he has so much confidence on me okay you just call him 1 crore birth already done time space and matter are under the control of bhagwan that's the thing a prakrit time transcendental time so down this krishna prem that mukund came and mahaprabhu giving it to him also and mukund speaking that full anand he is getting inside it even after 1 crore of life still i will get that prem bhava after 1 crore definitely bhagwan will do kripa on me so what i need apart from that that is one certificate i have got very night currently i have got that is called like dhruv maharaj dhruv maharaj actually is doing dhyan oh bhagwan definitely will come yes no oh, definitely bhagwan will come 
why he is not come are what happened some voice is coming sound is coming so this is samot kantha all the time inside this heart that kind of that some uh, perception is going on yes bhagwan definitely will come definitely bhagwan will come definitely will come why he will not come so this kind of perception is going on that is samut kantha asha band means that confidence is there that strong resolution that yes definitely bhagwan will come samut kantha means that inside his heart that inside his heart some kind of uh, tension upper transcendental tension is going bhagwan will come definitely with this kind of desire with this kind of desire he is actually living and in naam sankirtan he is all the time busy in doing naam sankirtan all the time he is busy in doing hari naam that naam hari naam he is having top most ruchi in that that in hari katha kirtan of bhagwan and in the glorification of bhagwan he has a shakti and where actually krishna is staying in mathura vrindavan there there all the time his heart is getting attached to that that bhagwan at full anand is there that i am actually staying in mathura i am staying in vrindavan i am staying in govardhan i am staying in gurada kund i am staying in barsana so anand is there while staying in dham that kind of anand transcendental anand so that prem prem swarup of the sun if it is actually coming inside the heart and it is just getting it's melting our heart that is called bhav and prem bhakti is and bhav bhakti is all the same but prem bhakti you just hear now what i'm speaking that inside your heart that when actually uh, it is getting melted by uh, krishna prem and that atyantic infinity means that uh, he, you can't stay without krishna as seva at all that bhav when getting more and more depth depthness inside your heart you, it will just get converted to prema that is act, the actual symptom of prema is that prem bhakti is symptom actually it's being spoken here the symptoms of prem bhakti that in the panch ratra also bishma pralad they are actually recognized as prem devotees of prem bhakti that prem bhakti is of two types previously from lot of days i am actually discussing this point that previous week also i have discussed this that vaidhi bhakti and raganuga bhakti bhagyukta bhakti they are two types that about this i am actually just giving explanation i have just came on to this point now how that yesterday we have discussed that what is actually called rasa what is that actual thing rasa what is rasa that in this material world and in this um, uh, transcendental world what the is actual difference between the rasa and in this material world and in this material world that rasa what you are getting that rasa which is actually totally uh, uh, heinous and very very bad in this material world which we are finding that material rasa in this material world what we are finding which is very very uh, which is just very bad that in the transcendental world that is the topmost that is the topmost that is the topmost in the transcendental world you understand the point so like this actually is go- everything is going on so yesterday i have discussed i have already proved it also yesterday's discussion that it is very much uh, surprising to think that uh, you don't need to uh, <coughs> think bad about vidhi mark because when you are staying in vidhi mark slowly steadily under the anugatya of guru varg Shila Sachidanath Bhakti Nuna Thakur has told us that 
को रचो जाने स्वाधीनता रत्नों दाने त्राग मार्गे कराए प्रवेश Yesterday I have already told you that the Shastras, the actual topmost rigid uh, uh, bhakti which is actually based on the strict rules and regulations of Shastras that is actually called Vidhi Bhakti and a naturally spontaneous bhakti inside the Jivas that natural attraction towards Bhagwan, they don't have this kind of uh, capacity to go that definitely the anusashan of the shastra is required for them maybe when they are quite natural it is becoming spontaneous that prema sambandh with bhagwan when it is getting natural then definitely it will become spontaneous surati and it will he will just get uh, get into ragmarg that ragmarg bhajan is not at all there anywhere apart from gurudev and there also there is one kind of uh, some difference that Rag Ragmar there is two types one is Sambandhanuga and one is Kamanuga Sambandhanuga according to that that if you are making Vichar Sambandhanuga in that that in Dwarka what you see that is also all Rag that is also Ragmar definitely it is also Ragatmik but that is it is more, more and more deeper and more improved uh, Ragmark Bhajan is Vrindavan because in Vrindavan that according to the, the according to the relationship Shridham, Shrudham go, go, uh, Sh- Ma- Mother Yashoda and Nand Baba is there the son-in-law, daughter-in-law are, are there Nand, Upananda, Adinanda, Sunand all actually are there in Brajadham and Prabhavati, Yashoda Ma all actually according to their own duties they are actually having natural spontaneous attraction for Krishna. So this kind of uh, relationship and if you go to Dwarka, then in Dwarka that is also Madhuras. That relationship is there of Madhuras. That Anurag definitely is there in Dwarka as well. That's why Srila Rup that's why Srila Rup Goswami Pad he, he needs to uh, write two books. One is Lalit Madhav and one is Vidagd Madhav that this uh, Bhagwan only one book he wants to read Srila Rupa Goswami Pad already has uh, uh, written one book and after that when Satya Bhama Ji has just came in the dream of Rupa Goswami Pad and speaking that uh, you just need to separate it my book and definitely separately you write this book Vidak Dhamada and this so in both the books that Rukmani, Satya Bhama, that Anurag is there for Bhagwan. Lot of Anurag is there. That Prema is there. Everything is there. But that in Brajavasi, that Ragat Pinga Bhakti is there. That is very, very only in only in speciality in total with Brajavasi only. Not out of that at all. You cannot go out of that. That speciality is there with Brajavasi only. So lots of uh, discussion I have already done from the last previous weeks, previous days. That Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has written in Ujjwal Neel Mali.
दशम तादृश जाति कृष्ण स्वापी उदीय ये यथाम प्रबुद्धान सभी में भजन में हम ये ये बात जो है दिस पॉइंट एक्चुअली से that will not at all getting eligible here in vrindavan it is not all eligible this point at all bhagwan that is getting defeated in braj dham and is just putting his hands up and speaking with a surrendered mood in front of gopikas in the 10th canto it is spoken by bhagwan to the gopikas that i can't do it at all that your that your uh, that in order to pay you back i am not at all eligible to pay you at all it means that rati when it is getting more and more deeper in to- total maturity it is getting when rati when rati that in top most uh, matured condition it is actually coming then after getting maturity slowly steadily when you can go move forward that mahabhav dasha it can go but in this material world that prema that krishna prema up till that apart from that it won't go in this material world and uh, when you will go in with the transcendental world that you can go more and more ahead that it is getting manifested but in this material world that apart from krishna prem you cannot move far but apart from krishna prem at all why because this kind of rati that is when it is getting more and more matured that mahabhav dasha it can go up till that you can get that mahabhav dasha as well so this actually this bhava that is actually for all the very rare special devotees that is actual target of them to be attended that mahabhav dasha what is there that specially that all those top most rare devotees that is their target to get achieve that that same rati when it is getting more and more deeper then definitely getting more and more deeper that prema that in the way of uh, krishna prema that uh, it is becoming more and more deeper in the way of krishna prema lot of things are there in that this all actually is there <coughs> I'll give you one example by this so that you can understand it clearly so that you can very clearly understand like there is that when you are actually uh, taking sugar cane out of that one ras is there and after that sugar is there then mishri cranberry is there and whatever you are taking out from a sugar cane everything you can get out of that so all these kind of things are already there managed it means that prem bhakti that prem bhakti vilas in the way of that 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 about prema that's the different categories of prema are there that is not prema that is only prema only but prema having six different categories now that all those divya suri that they all they all can understand the actual language of prema it is indicating the language of prema only each and every single stage of prema is there that in the life of those that for krishna that in the life of those for krishna different different kind of, that prema is actually getting uh, towards krishna that krishna also is actually getting uh, that tadvishi vritti is uh, krishna is getting towards that de- particular devotee according to that that for those persons that kind of uh, special prema is getting inside him that up till that point that they are getting uh, krishna rati according to that that tadvishi vritti actually they are getting according to that if in the if you are acting very in deep vichar and in very fine form if you are thinking 
then you don't have this kind of eligibility okay by the grip of guru varg my dear actual i'll be speaking two words that actual deep vichar is that that what by this kopaniya vichar in braj dham that shringar ras prema shringar ras uh, uh, prema is actually topmost that madhur ras definitely is in dwarka as well what is the big thing in that yes definitely is a big point that a very big point it is to just get established in madhur ras but this braj dham that madhur ras is there that what is there that is parikya and in dwarka that is swakya in that so much difference is there that that in order to understand it is not at all possible by lecture i cannot uh, manifest that you just need to do bhajan you just need to realize that on your own just by the grip of shri guru vaishnav you can understand it that by this in depth vichar that shringar ras in braj dham that is the topmost and if that kind of so so called rasa what is there that avar is actually pushti marg if i can speak there is not lot not at all here and there that pushti marg we are you okay you are pushti marg okay shila thakur ji maharaj actually speaking bhakti on thakur that if you have other kind of relations in if in any other sampraday that they are actually following shringar ras madhur ras some kind of prasang actually is coming that is actually very very small not at all clear at all that is very less it is coming the not at all more it is very less prasang is there that's why chilatas ko swami pad ragunandas ko swami pad by the grip of mahaprabhu that chila swarupadi etc all those mahades in the form of shiksha guru he that kind of uh, that he is actually making this updesh to tat bhav ublipsu this kind of instruction is given shri laragunath das ko swami pad this kind of manasiksha what we are actually reading that it is just to give the instruction to your heart this is not for all the ordinary persons up till this point vidhi mark or in other sampraday anything can happen like only and only only and only in the gaudiya samaj that by shriman mahabrabhu that what actual the pathway shown by mahabrabhu that ananya prem bhakti that madhur bhav that manjari bhav sakhi bhav this for this only shri laragunath das ko swami bad he is actually giving us this pathway he is actually showing us that it is for us only he is showing that's it okay that's why shri laragunath das ko swami bad that who is the actual very close parshad of mahaprabhu this all we definitely will discuss next week so this das ko swami pad by who is the actual kripa patra of mahaprabhu that swarup ko sai swarup roop sanatan jeev ko swami pad all are actually that kind of uh, that kind of uh, prema of mahaprabhu is actually manifested in them automatically that all the time we just need to think of them all the time that is bru ru the shard go swami the shard go swami you just need to remember them all the time so shila roop shila swarup etc all those mahades in the form of shiksha guru all the time we just need to think them that he is actually calling them to whom pe- to which people that the the, the bhav lips that braj bhav actually is actually inside their heart and they have that loll and lob to get that braj bhav inside their heart that definitely we will take uh, this braj dham that about this i want to just give you this uh, indication about that shloka
This is not our Gaudiya Bhajan at all. Gaudiya Bhajan, the actual pathway is this only. From the starting till the end, you just need to start crying. Oh, just save me, save me. Just do Kripa, just do mercy on me. All the time you need to think. That is actually our Gaudiya Bhajan. You understand the point what I am speaking? And, uh, and birth after birth, Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking that those, they have this desire that they can do otherwise those who don't have desire they won't do if that ragatmika bhakti with that that in braja that you have that kind of lobha inside you to stay and especially shri shri radha krishna that uh, in order to get into the eternal pastimes you just need to have that lobh that your mind you do one thing that birth after birth shila rup goswami shila sanatan goswami Shila Swarup Goswami, Shila Rup Goswami, Shila Sanatan Goswami, and all those have got the eternal parshat of Mahaprabhu. You just uh, call them. All the time you call them, Oh merciful, be to keep on me. All the time you just need to crowd it light, uh, loudly cry so that definitely one day or other you will get the kripa. Definitely. Because where you will go apart from their mercy, you tell me. Definitely they will put uh, topmost mercy on you. So birth after birth, this kind of Prem Ragatmika Bhakti, that Prem Lakshana Ragatmika Bhakti, that Prem Lakshana Ragatmika Bhakti, birth after birth, that you, some uh, life you will get Siddhi in that. And if you get topmost Kripa of Srila Rupa Swami, Srila Swarupa Swami, then definitely you are going to clear it very easily. Even birth after birth you can uh, wait, but still you can't get out of that. But only by the Kripa of Srila Rupa Sanatana you can get out of that. That is the topmost thing. That about Mansik Shabhasya, that is already being done. Srila Bhakti Nathakur also speaking. Just be careful, just hear. Maybe it's Bangla, but you can understand it, what I am speaking. That Shloka. That third number shloka bhashya of written here i'll just speak in hindi about this <coughs> if if rag avesh that means raganuga that prem when raganuga bhakti he wants to do in braj dham you want that topmost calm is there inside your heart that prem is that is actually prem this is not calm calm is actually very bad material karma that with rag avesh you just need to stay in prajadham that kind of lobha or greediness is there inside your heart that topmost kama that prema with prema bhav you are actually having that and if uh, that 
that if you want to taste the radha krishna leela ras that topmost uh, greediness is there of the yugal sarkar seva that you want to do the aarti that kind of then i am speaking you just hear it very nice to what i we need to hear that in bhajan who are actually top most clever in bhajan shri swarup damodar ji that in his life that apart from the seva of gauranga there is no other uh, way is there and that swarup goswami and uh, all the all all the parshas of uh, rup goswami ban those who are the topmost in the rasa tat that uh, niratat that they have manifested that that those that their uh, big brother who is actually sila sanatan goswami pad that all those mahajans you just need to with full prem bhava you just need to call them all the time you just need to think of them all the time that shila bhakti no thakur that that on to the lotus feet of mahajans that bhav bhakti they are very very that kind of topmost greediness of my heart that topmost transcendental uh, vasana of my heart that uh, we just need to take that i want otherwise we he will die that's it that whatever that kind of desire is there i can't uh, stay without it that what bhakti this bhakti no thakur that bhashya of bhakti no thakur now this third number shloka is actually finished that our third number shloka is finished that third number shloka that is the last that is the last uh, uh, bhashya what i have told and now the fourth number shloka i will be just discussing it next week but still i will be discussing it uh, from the upper layer what is some indication regarding this fourth shloka and i will be just uh, putting an end today because lot of things if will come inside you then you can't understand it a reverse will happen so i just need to just need to catch it in order to digest it that some time is required to digest it so in the fourth number shloka i mean the next shloka what is there shila raghunath das goswami pad actually speaking in manasiksha what does it mean actually lot of meanings are there asadvarta avesya sarvasya harani katha mukti vagra na sinu kilo sarvatma vilani prati tatva lakshmi pati rati mito bom nayanim praje radha krishna smarati manido bam ajam what actually written here what is the actual meaning of shloka i will be just uh, ending up today oh my heart oh my mind that what that kind of vesha that prostitute who is actually just making us unstable that asat varta it is just like that which will just totally destroy our bhajan that sarvatma gilni that kind of mukti vyakri katha try to avoid that not to hear that again and again you don't need to uh, take that because you won't be able to leave that because there is no guarantee so try to avoid it again and again this kind of uh, uh, this kind of katha that of my mind and heart that kind of bhava of my heart that all kind of asadvarta vesha and all everything is getting uh, and engulfed by this uh, prasang of mukti so much dangerous it is it just actually this mukti actually compared with tigress 
definitely prabhupad is speaking next week i'll be discussing it when up till this when mayavadi is actually there on this material earth up till that shuddha bhakti it is not at all possible to get that at all they oh my heart that asad rupa uh, that prostitute if it is there that mukti that which is compared with tigress definitely you just need to avoid it you just need to throw it away and i am speaking in more details that inside your heart that this kind of bhav is there that param brahm vaikuntha that muk that lakshmipati that prasang is there of narayan that also you don't need to avoid that completely if you will not at all avoid then how you can stay in golok how you can stay in vrindavan you tell me it is not at all possible na all the time so that's why it's very important that those who have vaikuntha bhav that vaikuntha bhav if you have they have upper bhav they can do that so this our the english katha i was this in brahad bhagavata me that clearly i have just described it in front of all you understand the point that who has inside their heart that parabrahm pratidayini rupa lakshmipati that kind of relationship is there with narayan then how he can do the bhajan of nandanandan krishna i'll give you example that lakshmi devi up till now in bill 1 she is actually performing bhajan why because nandanandan krishna she wants to achieve her association but it's not at all possible for her how because she is she has not done radha anugatya at all that's why that's why it is not possible for her to do in vaikunth jagat he will stay in vaikunth jagat only like in the south india that uh, king kulashekar he actually has done the bhajan of narayan mira bhai also is actually doing the up till what point is up till dwarkadish event it means nandan nandan krishna is not at all they are getting up till now in bhagavad ji mahapuran also in bhagavad ji mahapuran it is actually written up till now lakshmi devi is actually doing bhajan in bel 1 and she is trying to just get the association of nandan nandan shri krishna but still she can't get that at all she is trying to get the association of shri nandan nandan krishna so that i can do all austerities and penances and can achieve a shri nandan nandan shri krishna's association how i can move forward in order to get associated with nandan nandan krishna but she is not possible for her because she is not door all doing radha nugatte that's why so this still now she is actually making this kind of de- uh, uh, desires but she is not at all successful nandan nandan krishna with that she wants to associate with that so that kind of vasna that desire nothing up till now has done at all she is not at all successful she is unsuccessful and that kalyanag that in that prasang also it is written that kalyanag that prasang also it is actually written there that up till now Okay, next week I will be discussing it. No worries uh, about this. Next week I will be discussing it. How Lakshmi Devi still now actually is wants to. She is not at all getting association of Shri Nandan and Krishna. Means she is not at all successful at all to get the association of Shri Nandan and Shri Krishna. She wants to get the association of Shri Nandan and Krishna, and she is doing austerity and penances up till now. But still, nothing has happened at all. So in this prasang I will be discussing it uh, next week. Next week I will be discussing this about this prasang. So whatever is the case, now we just need to give rest up till this time. Means five minutes before I am giving rest today. Just uh, forgive me for that. Adu sadhya tatho sadhusang atho bhajana kriya tatho anatta nibriti hi shat tatho nishtha ruchis tatha. अथाशक्तिस्तु भावस्तु प्रेम भूदंशति साधुकाम प्रेम पदुर्भवे भवे क्रम बांशकल्पतुर्वश्य के पास सिंधुपति पावन भो विष्णुभ्यो नम